Hey builders, this is another update on what I've been up to recently, right? Melissi, um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an update on how I'm connecting with Firestore Firebase. Uh, so maybe this is helpful and you can learn something for yourself. I'm building this SaaS for Pilates Studio, a local business, and this is something that you can definitely do. I'm doing it on the open for, so everybody can see and do the same thing. No, let's call this um, your DB, right? As a reminder for all of you, I'm building this Pilates app. It's for a client, so you can't really see the full code, but all of the important concepts I'm gonna walk you through. So this is gonna be like all collections. Um, and then here, I'm gonna have a collection that's gonna be, for example, the trainees, right? Um, and so you're gonna have rules. Uh, let's do it this way. You're gonna have rules of uh, how and whom can write and read and update and delete from each one of the collections or or all of them right um, here you're gonna have for example instructors in my case um, when someone in the, the world <laughs> wants to commit or do any kind of action so these are the rules and it's gonna be something like who can uh, read from collection a right which could be instructors so let's jump right into uh, how it looks in the code but basically what I wanted to do is to update those rules so, so when you start off you have default rules that are not good um, so update them which i did then um have those with cursor in your code base where um the way you can test it which is what i wanted to do to be able to test it real quickly was able to set it up is by having it in the code let me let me actually show you real quick um so that's like your in your code base you have like a you know, a replica of the rules. So these are the rules. You have your, um, that would be like, um, like a test script. This is, this is the way I did, I did it. Um, the test script is gonna work this way, which is to spawn um, Firestore emulator. This is, this is the way to test it. Emulator here. Um, and then once this works, it's actually gonna try to, to run those tests. There's, there's the, well, let's do it this way, right here. Um, that's gonna be our, our like test suite. And once uh, the emulator runs, then the test suite is gonna be run. The test script is gonna is gonna know, right? It's gonna know. Then it's gonna run. It's gonna take the test suite, run it against the this emulator, uh, get the results, and then come back. And that's that's basically gonna be like the like the results logged right um if i jump right here this is the theme i use for you know my evening sesh then i would say let's um run the test the test with the script so you might see here that like i have my scripts folder which is like all the utils the the good stuff i'm i'm using um you know when i need to do something pro like programmatically myself and not like really the app so you see here it's going to run test fires the rules uh, it's going to use the rules that I have. So obviously when I change the rules, I need to update this. Um, like it's, it's like, just like NPM. So it's going to run it. Um, so it's going to go, uh, let me show you what it actually is. So it's going to go to the tests, um, fire rules, this file right here, it's a TypeScript file, right? Um, basically it's going to start the emulator. Um, it's going to say it's ready. And then, uh, you know, hopefully if, if it's all good, um, then it's going to run the tests and it's going to, it's gonna just do that and then uh, tell me you know what what actually happened fail tests succeed the test uh, completed successfully whatever happened right so um, I just want you know that the, the, the syntax is not really interesting but in terms of the flow here I think this is a good a good learning um, so if we run it I'll help you run test blah 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 uh, so it says emulator unable to start because the port is taken so I've already uh, run this and and I use the, the port which is set in the script um, So it says it's taken. So if I just quickly kill the process that is running and sort of like occupying the port um, Then I can I can just do it again running um, Emulator is ready So this is this is where I see the emulator the fire server. It's running locally, right? It's running on the, the local host um, Which is great um, and then these are actually the tests, right? So it says like a write stream, like it's, it's trying to write. Basically, I have th 13 tests right here, you know, mostly for like unauthenticated users or I just want an admin to be able to do some of these. 
So it says, you know, those were, were ran. That's the time he took for that. Um, that's the, the, the status. So life is good. Um, all passed. You can see here from time to time, if I change the rules, I just want to make sure that it works uh, well. And when I want to do it, because I don't want to spend any time on errands, um, then I have this, this script right here and it just it just does all of it. So the script, um, if, you, if you're actually interested, uh, it runs the test. So it sets up the emulator and everything. The emulator is part of um, like Vite test or it, it uses uh, Vite test because it's a Vite app, but also mostly it uses like a Firestore emulator um, on how to, to test things uh, as Firestore uh, the way they want it. Um, so it calls, it's a script in my scripts folder. It calls uh, the test here. So that's the, the specific test right here where the 13 uh, different tests are, are written, right? Um, which is great. Then uh, that happens only after the emulator is being set up. The emulator is being say, set up by um, the definitions in the, in the Firebase JSON here, right? Um, and that would take the rules at any given point that are saved here in the Firestore rules. Um, so, you know, hopefully, if we go back here, hopefully that makes sense to you. Do let me know if you have any questions. I'll happily uh, tackle any one of those questions. Um, so that's basically, that's basically how it works. Uh, the rules are saved uh, in, a, in a file that is the rules. And if, if you really want to know, then um, there's a file that is calling those rules, which the, the, the script is calling. And that file is the, uh, that doesn't really matter. It's the firestore.json, right? Uh, and so all in all, I was able to, to, to set this up fairly quickly with, um, with cursor. And it's just, it's just one, um, it's just one click in the terminal, like P and PM, at the tip of your fingers quickly. Test, get it done, move on. Peace.